The UN Climate Summit must keep alive the possibility to stay below 1.5 degrees centigrade warming. This will require rapid and massive cuts in global carbon emissions. The most we can do is so much as possible. I over 30 years now, the climate forskning has been very clear about what we must do. Och i över 30 år så har klimatpolitiken gjort för lite, för sent. Och nu börjar faktiskt tiden rinna ifrån oss. We need climate justice. The biggest emitters must take the responsibility. The most affected people and areas must get the support they need. Quite often people are talking about the Paris Agreement, but you sometimes wonder whether people also really read the Paris Agreement. The third pillar of the Paris Agreement, besides mitigation adaptation, is making the financial flows consistent with our low-carbon pathways. Yet since the Paris Agreement, fossil finance has only grown. During the period from 2016 to 2020, the world's 60 largest banks poured 3.8 trillion US dollars into fossil fuels. In 2018, EU countries provided a staggering amount of 50 billion euros of fossil subsidies. This has to stop. It's high time that we put our money where our mouth is. To take the Paris Agreement seriously, leaders need to immediately stop all finance for fossil fuel activities. Glasgow needs to be the moment that marks the end to fossil fuels. COP26, not a moment to waste.